The story of the Ken and Barbie killers, also known as Paul Bernardo and Carla Homolka, is a truly chilling tale of depravity and violence. The couple's horrific crimes took place over a period of several years, and their story is one of the most notorious and disturbing cases in Canadian criminal history. Paul Bernardo was born in Scarborough, Ontario, in 1964. As a teenager, he was known for his violent and aggressive behavior, and he was arrested several times for crimes such as shoplifting and breaking and entering. Despite his history of criminal activity, Bernardo was able to secure a job as an accountant in Toronto in the mid-1980s. It was in Toronto that Bernardo met Carla Homolka, a young woman who was just 17 years old at the time. Homolka was immediately infatuated with Bernardo, and the two began dating shortly after they met. Despite Bernardo's violent tendencies and abusive behavior, Homolka remained devoted to him. In fact, she was willing to do anything to please him, even if it meant participating in his crimes. The couple's first known victim was Homolka's younger sister, Tammy. In December 1990, Bernardo and Homolka drugged Tammy with sleeping pills and raped her while she was unconscious. Tammy never woke up from the drugs and eventually died as a result of the rape. The couple buried her body in a nearby lake. Over the next two years, Bernardo and Homolka committed a series of brutal and horrific crimes. They targeted young women, often abducting them and holding them captive for days or weeks at a time. During this time, they would sexually assault and torture their victims, sometimes recording the abuse on video. The couple's crimes began to unravel in 1992 when a young woman named Kristen French went missing. Despite a massive search effort, French's body was never found. It wasn't until the following year that the couple's involvement in her disappearance was discovered. Carla Homolka's involvement in the crimes was first revealed to the police in early 1993 when she was arrested for shoplifting. During her interrogation, Homolka admitted to her involvement in the murders, and she struck a deal with the authorities to testify against Bernardo in exchange for a reduced sentence. The trial of Paul Bernardo was one of the most high-profile criminal cases in Canadian history. He was charged with two counts of first-degree murder, as well as several other charges related to his crimes. The trial was a media sensation, with reporters from around the world flocking to the courthouse in Toronto to cover the proceedings. The evidence presented at the trial was shocking and included videotapes of the couple committing their crimes. In the end, Bernardo was found guilty of all charges and was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Carla Homolka was also sentenced to prison, but her sentence was much lighter than Bernardo's. She was released from prison in 2005, and her release was met with widespread outrage and protests. The story of the Ken and Barbie killers remains one of the most chilling and disturbing true crime stories of all time. It is a stark reminder of the depths of human depravity and the destructive power of toxic relationships. The crimes committed by Bernardo and Hemolka are particularly horrifying because they were not just random acts of violence. Instead, the couple carefully planned and executed their crimes, often filming themselves committing the acts. The videotapes that Bernardo and Homolka made of their crimes are particularly disturbing. In many cases, the victims can be seen begging for their lives, while the couple continues to torture and abuse them. The case of the Ken and Barbie killers is also notable for the controversy surrounding Carla Homolka's sentence. Many people believe that Homolka's sentence was too light, given the severity of her crimes. In particular, the fact that she was able to strike a deal with the authorities and receive a reduced sentence in exchange for testifying against Bernardo was seen by many as a miscarriage of justice. After her release from prison, Homolka went into hiding, but she was eventually tracked down by journalists and members of the public who were outraged by her release. She has been the subject of intense scrutiny ever since, with many people continuing to express their outrage over her role in the murders. The story of the Ken and Barbie killers is a disturbing reminder of the darkness that can lurk within human beings. It is a story of extreme violence and depravity, 
and is a warning about the dangers of toxic relationships and the destructive power of individuals who are willing to exploit others for their own pleasure. While Paul Bernardo remains behind bars, the story of the Ken and Barbie killers continues to fascinate and horrify people around the world. It is a reminder that there are some crimes that are so heinous and so disturbing that they can never be forgotten, and that justice must always be served for the victims and their families. In the end, the story of the Ken and Barbie killers serves as a stark warning about the dangers of allowing toxic relationships to take root and grow. It is a reminder that we must always be vigilant and aware of the people in our lives, and that we must do everything we can to protect ourselves and those around us from a kind of horror and violence that Paul Bernardo and Carla Hamolka inflicted on their victims. As we continue to grapple with the aftermath of this horrific story, we must never forget the victims of the Ken and Barbie killers, and we must continue to work tirelessly to prevent such atrocities from ever happening again.